Actually, my parents knew that I had a passion for trees. I had my heart set on going into the Navy, my dad being a World War II Naval officer and done so many things for our country. The day that I got accepted, my father said to me, why do you want to go into the Navy when trees don't grow at sea? My passions really did lie with uh, people and trees. So I went to forestry school, made my way through school, wound up teaching at Penn State for a year and uh, met a vice president of Bartlett Tree Experts, Jack Good. One day he said to me, Jim, when you want to see what we really do, you know, why don't you come have lunch with me? And within a month, I'd, I'd left Penn State. I started in the field with a great mentor, learning how to climb, learning how to do tree work from the ground up. That was the beginning of my career with Bartlett. It's been a span of 38 years in helping develop a more professional field of work for arborists at large. I really like interacting with people and I really like interacting with trees. It was a good uh, marriage, people and trees. I first met Jim over the telephone. I was like, wow, who is this guy? He has got so much energy, uh, so much enthusiasm for this industry and for our company as a whole. I was just really impressed with him as an individual, for his knowledge, uh, just a really solid guy. So Jim and I served on a test committee for the certification program through ISA uh, years ago, and that's where we met. That kind of began a, a long-time relationship probably for the last 25 years now. Jim is one of the best arborists in the country. My friendship with Jim has exposed me to uh, the Bartlett Way, which has uh, influenced the way I do my business. So it's really had a positive influence on my career in arboriculture. I met Jim in 1997, pretty much followed his lead ever since. He is uh, all about integrity. If you fall down, get back up, be better for it. Uh, he'll lend you the hand. He's a great coach and a great mentor, and Jim is a get-it-done guy. When I first met Jim, we sat down and had a really interesting conversation about trees. I could tell he loves what he does. I found it so fascinating because I knew nothing about how complex the world of trees could be. He's like a tree doctor. And that came across to me immediately, but he's also someone who I think is very organized and understands the industry in a way that helps him, you know, lead Bartlett successfully. My wife and I have had Jim at our house to look at our trees. We have just areas of our property that I would not even venture into. I've never been there because there, it's the woods. And Jim has gone through there, coming out, he's grabbing branches, he's showing us different things, he's biting into twigs, saying, yeah, you could eat this, you could do that. And, and my wife and I were in awe of how he's taking care of our property. We were just hoping that he can give us a little bit of advice and he's basically reworking our entire property for us. And you could just tell he gets so motivated by that. Years ago, in a, on a certification test committee meeting, we were out of town and we all took a lunch break. And I asked Jim uh, what he did, where he went for lunch or what he did during lunch. And uh, he told me he was doing I, an IPM survey on the hotel grounds. And I thought to myself, wow, uh, what a geek. <laughs> and I mean that in a very endearing way. But that just tells you that Jim is the, the consummate professional He's the real deal. He's not just uh, the president of Bartlett Tree Company for nothing. He's been there in the trenches and is really knowledgeable in every aspect of arboriculture. His knowledge overflows, and that enthusiasm that he feels for it just comes right through with every interaction that you have with him. In terms of his interaction with people and how he's a people person, he just thrives on those interactions that he has with employees, with customers. He's definitely intent on what you're saying, listens to what you're saying, and has a great rapport with everybody that he speaks with. I always tell people, anytime at Bartlett, if you want to come by, anybody visiting can go into any office, and Jim embodies that. He'll be the one that will initiate the contact in most cases. My father came one time. Jim found out that my father was in the building, and he seeked him out to find him, spend time with him, and it was just so endearing. Jim has an unwavering commitment to quality and doing the right thing. It's a, a rare conversation where it'll be something like price comes into play. It's always about what's the right thing to do. 
He has a real understanding of the employees, what they've been through in terms of their careers because he has come up through the business. That has enabled him, I think, to speak in a way that's credible, but also he advocates so successfully for them and, and he has an unwavering commitment to that quality and, and keeping that employee first in his mind as he makes decisions. Working with Jim has been amazing. He allows people to do their jobs uh, in a way that helps everyone succeed, but also helps the company succeed overall. He makes you work. There's no doubt about it, but it's always towards the best overall for yourself and for the company. You want to do better when you're with him. Jim has a habit of every meeting of asking who the last employee he hired was, and that helps create that culture where employees feel like they matter here. And he believes that investing in the team will result in the sales strategies that will work, and, and uh, that's why I think we're so successful, our people. Jim has been steadfast on, it's all about the last person hired. Wanting people to be bigger, better, stronger, smarter. It's not about what I've done. It's all about what the person that is in elementary school, in high school, in college now can bring and will bring to the table, not only to the company, but to the industry. And everyone that, that works under Jim supports that ethic wholeheartedly. I think Jim's a great recipient because he is an innovator and he does think creatively and yet keeping in mind what's best for the industry at all times. Jim embodies the tree care industry. If I had to pick any one person, it's Jim. He has such passion for tree care and he loves people and it just shows in everything he does within the industry. Jim has had so much involvement in so many aspects of the tree care industry. He is on so many boards, is the person that people throughout the industry look to as a mentor, as somebody who can provide information, provide guidance, provide support. If it's right for the industry, it's right for Bartlett and vice versa, because he believes that, you know, high water raises all boats and, and that we can help move our industry forward through collectively all working together and sharing best practices. And I think Jim's knowledge base combined with his experience, he, he's a natural leader in that area. Jim's impacted me in so many ways. He's taught me many things, but he's also pushed me to learn things on my own. Jim just em embodies what you want to be as a person. And Jim, you're a great friend and colleague and have immensely helped my career in arboriculture. Uh, you have done so much for the industry in a very low profile and unassuming way. Finally, you and Barb have been true friends of Donna and I over the years. I really can't think of a better person to present the Chairs Award than to Jim Ingram. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity maybe to help others on their career development. When I was a division manager for 22 years in the company up in New England and Canada and Texas, one of my goals was to see you know, our young people actually be able to buy a home and start a family. And I was able to see um, maybe 55 of those. And many of those people today are leaders in the company, which is really heartwarming. My wife and I get Christmas cards from <laughs> these families, it's, it's, it's really great to see it. So, it's gratifying to see growth in people and trees. It really is, because it's happening out there. <laughs>